I have to say I love my mower. I've had this for a couple years now. And just coming in, you can see this is where you put the battery. I have multiple batteries, but every time that I need to switch out my battery, I just uh, start charging that one. I have four of them total, and then that one will be all charged up by the time I need another battery. And I have the, I can't remember which amp. Let's see. Yeah, the two amp ones, the two amp hours. So I have about a third of an acre of yard. Usually it takes about two batteries total to do my whole yard. This is my yard in the back and then I have all on the side and then the front yard. But coming over here, it is actually really cool. Right here it shows how fast you can go, it's self-propelled. And then over here is the start button. So you can press that. I can press it now, it won't do anything. But if I hold, if hold this and then press it, what you have to do is you have to kind of follow the instructions. I had a very hard time. First you press it, then you pull. As you see, you have to press the button, I'm holding the button, and pulling at the same time. And that's me trying to do it with one hand. This is how loud it is. It's not that loud. You can probably still hear me talking. Now I do have the other extensions with it and everything, so I can put the bag on. I don't have that with me right now. But that comes in right back here. You can pull that out right down here and then put attach the bag on. So make sure you pull that piece out, otherwise it's not gonna collect in the bag. Cause it's stopping it from, that's where it all like would shoot out. So let me show how to do that. You pull that piece out. And then you can see inside where the blade is and everything. I don't bag very often, I don't bag very often. So if you wanna shoot it off the side, you can do that as well. And there's an attachment for that. Uh, again, I don't have the attachment with me right now because I'm going to mulch because I have all these nice leaves and I want it to go back into the ground and kind of mulch up the leaves and everything. The other thing I like about this is there's seven different heights. Right now my lawn's pretty high and I have a lot of leaves so I want to do it at seven. But I normally cut it on three or four. One would be a little too small for me, but let me show how easy it is. You pull this. Yeah, that's one. That's like on the ground. Look at that. So when I have tree branches and stuff, I need to go over, which I have in some parts of my uh, lawn. One and two are way too small. I can even see underneath that. Let's go to four. That's about the height I normally like it. Uh, but but for today, I am going to do seven, the highest, and that's right there. So this machine has been working out really well for me. Self-propelled again. If I want to move it myself, I can. So I push, push it a lot myself. But if I need that extra assistance, I can pull this and it just moves for me. And you can control the speed. And this is, you know, halfway between. That's how fast it was going. Once this, I'm kind of giving it a jog. And it's kind of quickly moving. Slow, it's not too bad also. Um, a lot of times I like to get that little extra workout so I push it myself. And that way I can control it. Ultimately, this mower has worked for my needs. I have all of the Snapper 82 volt other lawn equipment. So I have the same battery for all of my equipment and that works out really well. I have my Snapper here. And this is really long grass. As you can see, the grass is coming up and over. And my mower has no problem with the super long grass. A lot of leaves in it. It makes a nice trail behind me. You can see what has been cut and what hasn't. So this works out well. Let me show you how to put this battery in. So I have my battery right here. I always make it so I can read the battery information. Flip it up. Flip it up. There inside there. So now I gotta hold it real quick. And then I just slide it in. And then you can tell it's not pushed in all the way. You gotta really hear it snap and it's kind of more flush with this. And how you release it is you press that button and you can grab it from the top and bottom. And I like these batteries, it tells me how full the battery is. But that is how you put the battery in and take it out. 
Well, I have to say, my overgrown grass with all the leaves in it didn't turn out so bad with my electric lawnmower. I'm going to still be blowing all the other leaves off, and then I'm going to be using that again at a higher setting. But I had to cut my grass also, so I went from 7 all the way down to 4, some parts 3. Then I brought it back up just to kind of even it out a little bit more, because I was getting clumps of grass. But this is how it turned out. It turned out really good.